All right. Well, in today's Your Take, we're taking a look at pit bull bands and where they exi exist rather across the country. With me right now is Ben and Priya. I don't know if you guys know, but Ontario actually has a province-wide ban. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, That's it's, right. and, and it's it was the contentious, only province, right? Yes. yes, it was contentious, um, and it is the only province that has a province-wide ban. We're going to detail what that means, but I do want to talk about where does this story all stem from? Because you know, sometimes our topics come from the news headlines that are happening across the country. So it stems from a recent story in Alberta, where a Grand Prairie woman is recovering after her neighbor's pit bull attacked her on her front lawn three weeks ago. The dog responsible was put down this weekend. And police say that was done in the interest of public safety since the dog acted aggressively. And that's what we are looking at today. Should there be a ban on pit bulls? And we ask this question because Canadians love their dogs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is one of the most popular pets in this country. In fact, we found the stat that showed there are roughly 4 million dogs in Canada. Oh, wow. There are just over 35 million Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> we have about 4 million dogs, 6% of which are of pit bull breeds. I'm surprised I've, that that number is as high as it is. Mm -hmm. I would have that thought that it lot. would have been a lot lower than that, mm -hmm. but people people are very aligned with their breeds. They love the breeds that they grew up with. Yes. They want to have one, if they had one as a, a child, they want one when they grow up, mm -hmm. uh, and they don't want to derogate from that. It's true, but it's no, you know, it's no secret that the pit bull is an aggressive, it is an aggressive dog. Like that is, you can't argue that, we know that. But it also comes down to how the owner deals with that yeah. as well. But I do want to talk about another stat that we found in Alberta. And this is from the city of Edmonton. And statistics show that from January 2013 to, Janu uh, to September 2017, um, a breed of pit bull were responsible for 23 out of 81 fatal attacks, dog on dog attacks, reported in the past five years. So 30% of dog on, uh, dog on dog fatal attacks were done by pit bulls okay. in the city of Edmonton. That's a, that's a big chunk. That is a big chunk of a breed of dog that makes only a, minim, you know, a minimum of the breed of dogs that yeah, are out there. Yeah, 6% out there and 30% of the deaths, yeah. So the question that, you know, that's put out there, and especially out of, the, out of the recent story that came out of Grand Prairie, is there should there be you know, dog bans, more do, uh, pit bull bans in place across the country? Other than Ontario, each province allows municipalities to implement yeah. their own ban. Mm -hmm. it's, it is only Ontario that has a province-wide ban. And let me read you uh, when this came into effect. It came into effect in 2005. It prohibits individuals from owning, breeding, transferring, importing, or abandoning pit bulls. Training a pit bull to fight or allowing a pit bull to stray are also prohibited. Now, if you had a pit bull before 2005, it is grandfathered in, but yeah. there is strict legislation on how that pit bull is allowed to stay within the community. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. We looked at some of the stats. In Toronto, for example, the amount of pit bull attacks and bites has gone down, but that's also because the amount of pit bulls in the city has also gone down. For sure. Mm -hmm. Here's the interesting thing. The amount of dog bites in general has stayed the same. Right. So what does that mean? It means that other dogs are just doing the biting. Are right. rising to the challenge. So if the same number of incidents are happening, then this sort of seems to indicate that maybe the ban isn't effective overall. And that's the thing. We know that Quebec was actually in the process of looking at implementing their own province-wide pit bull ban. Just a few weeks ago, they abandoned those plans because they looked at the Ontario model and found that, you know what, yeah. it was hard to legislate, mm -hmm. it was expensive, and the results weren't yeah. showing I'm that it actually takes away from what's happening. Look, ultimately, it's the owner's responsibility. A dog is going to be a dog, right? And it's going to, it's going to be the type of dog that, that, that it is. Uh, and if it's an aggressive breed, it's going to be an aggressive breed. But it's the owner's responsibility. Maybe there's a hybrid model here where you can limit the number of, of, of dogs just in general, to limit the number of, of, um, of pit bulls available. But you have to put the onus on the, on the owner to, to train it in a much more strict way than other breeds. And that is it. what many people who um, oppose a pit bull ban or a breed specific legislation say as well, Ben. What the, you know, the American Association of Animal Hospitals showed that when a dog was put through obedience training, the likelihood of that dog biting mm. was reduced by 89%. So sometimes it just goes to the fact that these dogs are not trained properly 
or that the owner is not taking the proper responsibility to train their yeah. dogs or make sure that their dogs are not doing what they're not supposed to do. I, it was interesting, though, I do want to pin, uh, point this out, that the Toronto Humane Society, which is strongly against the Ontario province-wide ban, points to what Calgary has done. And what Calgary has done is that they have poured lots of resources into educating the public and to educating owners on dog safety. Yeah. I just, yeah, I think if you care that much about having a particular type of breed, then you have to care about making sure it's the best dog possible as well. You can't just care, oh, I need to have one and then do nothing to care for it and recognize sort of that it's a, an aggressive breed. Right. Agreed. It's a contentious issue, but Canada, we want your take. Use the hashtag your take. Do you support a pit bull ban? Hit us up on social media. Let us know. More news and weather after the break.